that makes a lot of sense, especially in the current AI revolution. Um, but uh, do you think we can put a dollar value to data quality? And uh, because, you know, how do you justify it to the leadership? It's a, it's a difficult thing to, to put a, a real dollar amount of your bad quality data. The dollar value is dependent upon like, how do you leverage it? So right now, the avenue of leverage, leveraging of the data is analytics. So how much analytics you can do and what the outcome you can get for in order to whatever the business process you want to improve, right? So it is dependent upon the business processes to business processes, what business process you want to improve or for that, how you want to leverage the data for. Uh, and then you can put the dollar amount to it. Uh, as a very high level, there is an IBM study which says $3 trillion is the overall economy, uh, you know, impact of the data quality. But uh, there is a Gartner study which says about $15 million for every company. They're losing because of they're not able to do the data quality. But these are very abstract numbers, uh, you know, putting somewhere. Right now, we can say this is a foundational principle. Uh, you know, it's a very hard to put a value on the foundation of any, uh, you know, uh, if you're building a building, for example, and say, hey, what is the dollar amount for foundation? It's like, it's a, it's, a, it's a foundation. You have to build it. Otherwise, building will not be stable. So any data infrastructure you create on top of uh, data, uh, it's just not going to work, whether it's a, AI or whether it's analytics or whether it's, uh, uh, you know, the reporting. Uh, right now, the reporting is always there on top of data with analytics and the AI, right? Uh, those are the, uh, the, the basically the value which you're going to create from the data. So data quality is so foundational layer that uh, it, it's, it's, that's why it's a, it's a basic component of the data structure in terms of the dollar amount. Absolutely. And uh, there are many studies to support that as well, like you rightly pointed out. Uh, if you proactively fix a data issue, you know, if it costs like $1 um, and let's say you postpone it, then it's going to cost $10 and you further postpone it and uh, that's going to cost you like $100. So I guess it's very important to include your data quality process in your data management itself and kind of proactively take care of those issues so that you're saving a lot of money.